We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Clone Wars Thursday throwback. We're looking at a couple of Count Dooku's today. If you didn't see my video earlier in the week, I did a bit of a bit of a look at all the Count Dooku's in my collection and um, and the capes and doing a little bit of switching out and swapping around and having a bit of fun and you know I got these two Count Dooku's out and I thought perfect opportunity to uh, to uh, have a look at these two for the Clone Wars video this week. Um, so yeah, we have the single card release there on the left. This is the Count Dooku that came with his speeder bike. I did buy this figure loose some years ago, so I don't have his speeder bike, but um, thought we'd take a look because it's it's a nice improvement over the the single card figure. So we do have Count Dooku's card. And I was sort of talking about capes and and stuff like that, and I wish they'd done one with the hood up like that because it's a cool look. Yeah, it's just the just the battle game card. Nothing too exciting. Uh, the packaging, which I still have, <laughs> I do show these when I can. So Clone Wars Zero Six it does come with the Episode for Interest little hologram there, which I have him holding. It does have a lightning hand, which is currently in possession of another Dooku figure, right there. Some other figures. Obi-Wan Kenobi. The Jetpack. Clone Commander Cody. Destroy Droid. And Yoda. Yeah, Count Dooku, the leader of the Confederacy of Independent Systems, talks via a holographic projector to Asajj Ventress. Dooku is, a, is crafting a plot that will destroy the credibility of the Jedi and enhance the influence of the Separatists. It's a nice picture of off of the count on the front. That aside, so yeah, we'll take a look at the single card version. Um, he does have the lightsaber there, and like I said, the lightning hands are on the other count to go. I have aside for the moment, but yeah, like I said, most of these Clone Wars ones, I love the uh, the style of the animation, the way that it's sort of ripped straight off the screen, particularly Count Dooku's, you know, very angular, angular head. <laughs> Even as they sort of went on with the animation style, they sort of veered away a little bit more with new, newer characters, um, but Dooku pretty much remained pretty faithful through the series with that very sort of angular, angular look. So there's the Hologram of Ventress. Quite detailed, actually. It's not too bad. It's pretty good. Move that away so the camera stops focusing on it. It's got the sort of the the bags under the eyes. Love the moustache. <laughs> There's just no doubt that it is Count Dooku. And I love in the Clone Wars movie they actually got Christopher Lee to come in and do do the voice for him. Obviously that was taken over when, once the series started happening. There was no way Christopher Lee was able to do all that voice work. But it was nice that they did um they had Samuel Jackson for Mace Windu in the film as well, so that was cool. This is sort of the plastic moulded cape, like I said, with the hood. If we can keep everything from falling on the floor, that'd be great too. <laughs> so this sort of slides off nice and easily. Sort of like the weathering on the belt looks good. Yeah, the main reason why why I ended up getting the other version is because of the legs here. On this one, uh, 
you know, they're molded, they're pre-posed. The only articulation is the upper hips there. Otherwise, you know, pre-posed, which was a lot of the lot of cases for the Clone Wars figure line, particularly early on. Before they started adding a adding a little bit of extra articulation into them. But yeah, he does have the uh, the ball joint in the head. Ball hinge in the shoulders, ball hinge in the elbows, swivels in the wrists, swivel at the torso there, and then swivel in the hips. Swivel in the hips. So, I like having this guy sort of just standing to the side of my shelf with the hologram. Whereas this one, he gets the forefront a little bit more. Now they've sort of gone a little bit more, a little bit slightly different colour. They went a little bit whiter on the beard than this one, being a sort of grey, a lighter grey. Sort of just toned it up a little bit. But yeah, still the same sculpt. It's the same top half of the body as the other figure. Just this time he gets sort of the soft good part of the tunic there. He gets the ball hinges in the thighs, which is a big upgrade. Hinges in the knees and hinges in the ankles. Obviously when he has his speeder bike, he can fly that. But yeah, I still do not possess Count Dooku's speeder in any form in three and three quarter. Something I do need to rectify, I think. Even just the Attack of the Clones version would be cool. So I might have to go and hunt that down. But I don't know, I love having this guy. He sort of sits front and centre being the sort of... The main villain of the Clone Wars, I guess, among others. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got him sort of just sort of standing on guard in front of a couple of super battle droids. The curved blade. Love. I don't know. There's something about Count Dooku's hilt that I've always loved. And seeing a younger Dooku come to life in Tales of the Jedi was, yeah, really, really cool. That was when they sort of really softened up the chiseled features <laughs> of the early days like this. So there's your, there's your two Clone Wars Count Dooku action figures. You can sort of see the slight differences in colour with the uh, with the outfits. A little bit darker on the left there. Not much different, but you know, having that extra articulation was was enough for me to justify picking that one up. And I was glad a few years ago to find him loose. Since been able to do the same with the the original Anakin. You know, recently I did the uh, I got the Anakin with the Cancel Flying Beast. <clears throat> nice upgrade to Anakin. Next one to find is the Obi Wan with the soft goods. But thank you for tuning into this week's episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. Love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Always appreciate your support. Checking out videos if I do have a review of these from yesteryear. I've been on YouTube for 
over 13 years now. I will have a link to that right at the end of the video. Um, it's fun to, funny to sort of go back and watch myself 10 years ago plus <laughs> talking about these action figures. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. We've got more coming up next week. Until then, may the force be with you always. Thank <laughs> you.